you will need to open the photo grid app which you should all be able to access from the school download site and it looks just like this here with the four different colours on it and when you first open it it's going to ask you for unlimited access to all features and say that you need to pay ignore that you don't need to pay for this we're only going to use the free version which means you need to press on the X on the top left hand corner if you press the X it will get rid of the payment option you will then get this little sign here where it says photo grid would like to send you notifications I would choose don't allow and then it will ask you to access your photo so allow access to all photos then you can click all of your pictures that you have taken during this session it will only allow you to choose 16 at a time so you will probably need to do more than one contact sheet at the top you have lots of different grid options so I've chosen 12 of my photos and you can see all of these different grids just go for the first one you don't want lots of different colored uh, colored shapes and outlines you just want to show off your pictures really clearly so the first one where they're just rectangles choose that one and then may just give you this little screen here where it shows you how you can remove them and resize them and then you have all of your pictures in a grid now at the moment they don't all fit so I've chosen ratio at the bottom and scrolling across and I've chosen six by four most of my photos are landscape so six by four works better to fit them you could try the four by three or the seven by five and it just rescales the pictures into that grid but you can see they are all rectangular shapes you click on border along the bottom you can change the thickness of the border you want a white edge make sure it's nice and neat all the way around so you can see I've got a white edge all the way around all of my pictures to separate them it's not too thick um, so the picture still stands out but it's not so thin that you can't see the difference between the images now you can now zoom in and out of your pictures so that they fit if you want to so this is my negative space image so just move it over slightly and then turn around any that were so this is obviously a landscape so I've had to turn it around because it went in as portrait but most of them will fit and when you do this you want to rescale it so the picture goes right to the edge of those blue dots as long as it goes right to the edge of those blue dots like this then you keep your even spacing in between so you're just moving them around making sure they fit you want like I said a really even white edge border so if you do scale them up or down or rotate them just make sure the picture goes to those dots now when you press save you then have to choose I'll just show you that again when you press save at the top right hand corner here so you click on that button and it's going to ask you for unlimited access again um, just as before click on the little X up here don't press try it for free uh, it probably won't let you download that anyways just choose the X and that bypasses the payment and keeps you using the free option you only need the free one so make sure you always choose X and then it will save to your photo reel so when you open your photos on your iPads you will have your first contact sheet and you will just do as many of those as you need and like said you can fit 16 per page so keep filling it up with 16 at a time until you have finished.